This portable power station is awesome. Now I think everybody needs to have some kind of backup power supply, and this one is so good it has really changed my whole philosophy with using one of these power supplies. But before we get into that, let me just go over what this power supply is, uh, what it does, some of the features about it. So this is a 500 watt power supply. It did come with a manual that has uh, the included, uh, you know, too small to read fine print if you're my age. As far as using the, the unit, you really don't need a manual for this. Uh, it's really simple to use. So to turn the unit on, you just hold down the power button for about three seconds and that turns the unit on. And then to access some of the power here, you would just uh, hit the button and that would power up the unit and you can charge things like your phone. Uh, one of the great things about this unit is it has two USB-C power connectors. Uh, that's what I like to use uh, to charge my phone. But now that that's on, you see my phone has turned on as powered up. And I like these USB-C connectors because I think that they are kind of the wave of the future. It's what everything is going to be charging with going forward in the future. So it's one of the things I say, if you're looking for a power supply, backup power supply, look for something that has USB-C. I like the fact that this has two USB-C power outlets because that allows me to do fast charging with both my phone and my iPad. Those are the two electronic devices that I need to charge on a regular basis. Now, even though I use the USB-C connections more than anything else, this unit is kind of nice because it's kind of backwardly compatible with a lot of things. It has the regular style USB connectors because obviously those are still around and still in use. So there's two of those. Um, it also has a 12 volt cigarette lighter type connector. Um, not a connector that I really like, but it's nice that it is included in this because it's still a connector that's out there and a lot of people like and use. It also has a 12 volt DC plug. This is a 5525 size DC barrel connector. Kind of a cool thing that they add that connector. Uh, even if it's a connector that you're not familiar with, if you are using this power supply for a number of different things, you might really like to tap into another connection. And uh, that's a really inexpensive and easy connection uh, to add yourself if you wanted to use something like lights or something else like that. And of course, this has your standard AC plugs. These two AC plugs are 500 watt pure sine wave inverter plugs. And so that means it's gonna be the same power that you would get from a standard wall outlet. And this also has a light that is built into the side of the unit. It has a low beam, a high beam, and then also a strobe uh, effect as well, which I find to be actually fairly useful. And included with the power station is a way to keep it charged up. They provide a standard wall plug. Now, I didn't try to use this because I'm never around regular power, so I don't have a way to actually test this out. Uh, the information in the instruction manual says that it takes about five and a half hours to charge the unit from dead to full. And I found that to be roughly uh, correct in the way that I've been charging it, although I have been utilizing uh, solar power and also my vehicle. Uh, the cool thing is they include a solar plug. These are MC4 connectors and the little plug that would plug into the power inlet to charge this up. Uh, so that's a cool little feature there. Uh, and they've also included a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. So I, I actually utilize this quite a bit. So this would just plug into the cigarette lighter into your vehicle and then the other end would go right into here. And this is the same 5525 plug that I was talking about earlier. It goes in here and charges the unit up uh, while you're driving if you use this plug. I found this to be fairly useful uh, and it charges pretty quickly, about the same, at least with my vehicle, it charges about the same as uh, the instructions say that five and a half hours. Uh, I found that to be roughly about the same as well 
uh, when I was charging it with my solar panel. This does have an MPPT charge controller, so however you're going to charge it, it's going to charge as quickly as possible and it's going to charge uh, as best for the internal batteries as possible. Uh, it's not really necessary to have an MPPT charge controller, but uh, it's a nice extra feature because it will prolong your battery life as well as giving you a much faster charge. It's an another nice little feature that they've built into this device. Now at the start of this video, I had mentioned that this Bulbat 500 watt portable power supply has really changed how I think about using power supplies going forward. And that's because after doing some testing, I've realized that this has enough battery capacity to power everything that I have here in my van. Now my power needs are really rather minimal. I have some lights, I have a phone, I have an iPad that all need to be charged from time to time. But my big power draw is my refrigerator. I have a 12 volt fridge and 12 volt fridges are fairly efficient, uh, except mine is not a very efficient fridge, unfortunately. Did a little test to see how long I could run my fridge off of this Bulbat 500 watt power supply. So I did the test for 10 hours, and at the end of that 10 hour test, the Bulbat was down to 73% capacity. This power supply has an extra feature that a lot of them don't have. Uh, a lot of these power supplies are set to turn off if there isn't any power draw after a few minutes of time. Now, sometimes it's a very few minutes, sometimes it might be half an hour to an hour, uh, but that's not a very good thing if you're trying to use one of these to power a fridge. Uh, this, though, has a 12-hour runtime, so that means that my fridge can run its regular cycles, and I don't have to worry about the unit shutting off. This is a new thing for me. I've never had one of these power supplies that ha that has had that ability to be able to run my fridge off of. So this gives me a whole second power system that can run my entire van in this nice, compact, easy to move around little device. I am extremely happy about that. Uh, if something happened to my regular power supply, to my regular battery, that means this would be able to jump right in and take care of all of my power needs without a hitch. That's huge. Now I think 500 watts would probably be the minimum battery capacity that you would want to have if you're trying to power a whole camper van or a whole RV. Uh, it does depend on your power needs and like I said my power needs are fairly minimal except for my fridge. So this 500 watts actually would cover everything that I would need. Uh, your mileage may vary just depending on what electronic devices you have, what types of things that you're running. Now, if you didn't have a fridge, this would be plenty. So in my opinion, this Bulbat 500 watt power supply is easy to use, extremely portable, has some great features, and I think you would be really happy with it if it's something that you're looking for. Uh, if you are in the market for one of these, uh, I will leave links to this down in the description below. Uh, there will also be a coupon code, uh, I think for about 10% off. So look for that coupon code uh, if you are in the market for this. Uh, and just to be clear, uh, this is not a paid promotion from Bulbat, uh, but they did send me this unit to do an honest review, and so that's what this is. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.